Hi friends, today I am giving a lecture on what are the differences between binary search tree and AVL tree. So this is one of the most important commonly asked question in examination and also interview point of view. Okay, so these are the differences between a binary search tree and AVL tree. Okay, first point. Every binary search tree is a binary tree. Okay, so according to the binary tree definition, each and every node has at most either zero children or one children or two children. Okay, so because of that reason, we can say that every binary search tree is a binary tree. In the case of binary search tree, we have to follow the uh, binary search tree property that is so the node value which are less than the root node value that are there on the left subtree the node value which are greater than the root node value that are there on the right subtree of root node so this property is there in binary search tree but this property is not there in binary tree. Okay. Hence, we can say that every binary search tree is a binary tree. Now, we go for AVL tree. Every AVL tree is a binary search tree or a binary tree. Because in the AVL tree, we have to follow the binary search tree property. Hence, we can say that every AVL tree is a binary search tree. From this one, every binary search tree is a binary tree. Hence, we can say that every AVL tree is a binary search tree and also every AVL tree is a binary tree. Okay. Next, second difference. In BSD, every node need not follow balance factor. In the case of binary search tree, we do not follow any balance factor concept. But in the case of AVL tree, for each and every node in the AVL tree, we have to follow the balance factor concept. Okay, balance factor can be defined as height of the left subtree minus height of the right subtree. Next, third one. Every BST is not a AVL tree. That means every binary search tree is not a AVL tree because by every binary search tree is not a balanced tree. Because in the binary search tree, height of the tree, height of the binary search tree is not balanced. Okay, so because of that reason, we can say that every BST is not a AVL tree. But every AVL tree is a BST because in the AVL tree, we have to follow the binary search tree property. So because of that reason, we can say that every AVL tree is a binary search tree. Next, fourth point. Each node in the BST has a structure consists of three fields. So every node in the binary search tree has a node structure. The node structure consists of three fields. One is a left subtree and second one is node value and R is nothing but right subtree. Okay, here D is nothing but node value that is data. Data field, left subtree field and right subtree field. Whereas in the case of AVL tree, in the AVL tree, every node has a structure. That structure has four fields. First one is a, a left subtree field, data field, or right subtree field. Here, fourth one is balance factor. Each and every node has the balance factor in AVL tree. That can be defined as the difference between height of the left subtree minus height of the right subtree. Next, fifth point. In binary search tree insertion, we will find the right place to insert the node. After insertion, without checking the height balance factor, insertion will be completed. So in the case of binary search tree, suppose we want to insert a node. 
okay that node value is compared with the root node value if it is less than the root node go to the left subtree if it is greater than the root node go to the right subtree find find the suitable place for inserting that node so once inserting the node there is no need to check the height balance okay without checking the height balance so the insertion of a node in the binary search tree is completed okay but in the case of uh, avl tree in avl tree suppose we want to insert an element into the avl tree first we have to uh, follow the binary search tree property that node's value is less than the root node value go to the left subtree if the node's value is greater than the root node's value go to the right subtree according to that find the suitable uh, right place for the node where we are inserting okay once you are finding the place uh, place uh, insert that node in a insert that node in that place now we have to calculate the balance factor for each and every node from root node to that node if balance factor is satisfied either minus 1 or 0 or plus 1 so the insertion will be completed if the balance factor is not satisfied we have to follow rotations either ll rotation rl rotation rr rotation and lr rotations okay so then insertion will be completed next one sixth point in bst height or depth of the binary search tree is big o of n okay here n is the number of nodes in the binary search tree height or depth of the binary search tree is big o of n where n is the number of nodes next in the case of avl tree the height or depth of the avl tree is roughly big o of log n where n is the number of nodes in the avl tree next one seventh point simple to implement so binary search tree is very simple to construct because only we have to follow the binary search tree property if it is less than the root node value go to the left subtree if it is greater than the root node value go to the left subtree find the suitable place and insert that node so it is very simple to construct or in avl tree is somewhat difficult to implement because first construct the avl tree and uh, have check the height balance if height balance if height balance is uh, imbalance after finding out the balance factors for each and every node then we have to follow the rotations so it is somewhat complex to implement next eighth point it is not a balanced tree so in the binary search tree we are uh, inserting or deleting an elements that can be done but there is no balancing concept in the binary search tree okay next in the case of uh, avl tree we have to uh, follow the balance factors concept so because of that reason AV in the avl tree height is balanced by using the rotations so because of that reason we can say that it is a height balanced binary search tree avl tree is a height balanced binary search tree okay next ninth difference Searching is not efficient when there are large number of nodes in the BST. Suppose in the BS tree, in the binary search tree, suppose we, we are inserting large number of nodes, okay, then the height of the binary search tree is increased. Suppose we want to search an element, it takes more amount of time because uh, the height of the binary search tree is increased because large number of nodes are there in the BST. So because of that reason, if the large number of nodes are there in the BST, searching is not efficient. But in the case of uh, uh, AVL tree, searching is efficient because searching of a particular element can be done very fastly because the height is balanced okay if 
more number of nodes are there in the aerial tree, the height of the binary set tree is balanced by using balance factors and rotations. So, because of that reason, the height of the aerial tree as low as possible. So, hence, searching of a particular node can be done very fastly. Hence, we can say that searching is efficient in aerial tree. Now, this is the example of binary search tree. These are the elements that we are inserted into the uh, binary search tree. Next, the same elements are also inserted into the aerial tree. Okay, so these are the balance factor. So, because of that balance factors, height is a balanced. So, the balance factors are minus 1, 0, plus 1. For every each and every node in the aerial tree, we have to calculate the balance factors. If this balance factors minus 1, 0, plus 1 are there, hence we can say that that, that is called as aerial tree. So, if the node's balance factor values are not satisfied these values, then we have to uh, modify the height of the balance tree using rotations. Okay, so this is the description about the uh, differences between binary search tree and aerial tree. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, please share this video to your friends and classmates. If you like this video, please subscribe my channel name. So, Divela Srinivasarao. Thank you.